Hey everyone, as promised, here is our part two of our Q&A about our virtual backgrounds where we discuss more of your frequently asked questions about our virtual backgrounds feature. So let's go. A really popular question that we get asked often is how do you create your own virtual backgrounds for a live video? Many of our users have asked us for suggestions and ideas on how to create their own virtual backgrounds. Some ideas that we give them are websites such as Canva and Crello, which are web-based design tools and templates that provide users virtual backgrounds for free. They can also add their own branding. This can be very productive for them and then their virtual background is ready to go. Another alternative for creating your virtual background is to consider outsourcing a design. This might be a more expensive option, but may be more beneficial for you guys in the long run. Another question we get asked often that ties in with our previous question is, how do I get free virtual backgrounds pictures? So stock image libraries have grown quite popular in the past couple of years with thousands of different options to choose from in a wide range of different topics. There's also a variety of different websites that you can get these free images from, such as Pexels, Pixababy, and Unsplash. A little side note to always consider before using these free stock images is to check the licensing distribution to see if you can actually use these images for your type of content distribution. Another question we get asked often is, how do you use your custom video as a background? On Manningham, you can also use your virtual backgrounds feature to remove your current backdrop and layer it with any other video source as your background. And let me show you guys how to do that. In this example, I'm going to choose how to use a custom video backdrop with a PDF file. So I'm clicking on the PDF file here as my video source. I'm just going to zoom into the PDF file right over here, make it full screen. Then I'm going to add a layer. And then from here, I'm going to put myself in the layer. So I'm going to choose the webcam option. Then I'm going to go to my virtual backgrounds, turn the virtual backgrounds tab on, click on to replace, click on transparent background. And there you have it. So you have a custom video backdrop now that's ready for your next live video presentation. So this is the end of our Q&A about our virtual backgrounds feature. I honestly had a really fun time going through all these questions. And personally, virtual backgrounds is one of my favorite Manicamp features. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. As well, if there's any other topics of Q&A questions that you guys would want us to cover, let us know in the comment section below. And lastly, hit the bell button to get notified when we upload brand new videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.